I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, start recording. Bam. All right, let's see. Oh, ho, ho. I got it. And just need to adjust a little bit the other way. And a little bit higher. Focus that up a little bit more. Woo-wee! I got the moon. You're watching Concept featuring yours truly. All right, guys. So we were supposed to be recording the moon rise right about now. Hey there, little doggy. Originally, I had planned to go to the highest spot in Houston place my telescope down, set up my camera, and capture the magnificent moonrise as it came up across the horizon of the Houston skyline. However, while we, my wife and I, were headed over to the spot after she got home from work, we were met with some inclement weather. The moon is rising somewhere over there behind the uh, clouds as much of a relief as this coming storm was especially after this more than week-long heat wave we were having here in Houston oh it's gonna get wet you feel that cool air right I figured there's no way that I'm gonna bring out my telescope coupled with the fact that it was later in the day I was hungry, so we went out to eat, but then shortly thereafter, when we got out, I found that the skies had cleared up a little bit, and I saw a big yellowish moon coming up over the clouds. So apparently this telescope is not point and shoot. I'm having a lot of difficulty. There's so many lights everywhere, I can't, I can't get anything. Houston is hot and muggy. Now, although the conditions were not ideal, I'm in the middle of a Five Guys parking lot and uh, trying to focus in on the moon, coupled with the fact that it's super hot and humid. This thing should, this thing should have a laser on it, like a stargazing laser that uh, helps point to the direction where I'm actually going. Okay, so I've successfully caught the power line. <laughs> that power line right there. I need to catch the power line and up from here. So if I could simply follow the power line slowly. But despite all that, I was super ecstatic at the result of what I was able to capture with this thousand millimeter focal length telescope. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, start recording. Bam. All right, let's see. Oh, ho, ho. I got it and just need to adjust a little bit the other way and a little bit higher focus that up a little bit more Woo I got the moon okay hold on now that we got that working um, I'm going to try to capture it with uh, the 3x. So let's really land on the moon. Ready? Boom. 3x magnifier. You ready for this? Boom. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, time to record. Oh, it's recording already. And let's uh, move this up a little bit. And I think even if we breathe on this thing a little bit, it just shakes like so much. Uh-oh, it just kicked. All right, let's readjust. All right. All right, camera, stop shaking so much. I need to get a better stand for this thing. Am I in focus? I think I need to uh, bump the brightness up. 400. Let's go to 800. Boom. 
Okay. Stop shaking, stop shaking. Like the whole screen is filled up. That's crazy, huh? That's so cool. Now, although the image isn't perfect and I had a lot of trouble focusing with this thing, uh, coupled with the fact that the clouds started uh, moving in again and started making the whole um, you know, image a bit fuzzy, coupled with the humidity and everything, the ideals, the conditions were far from ideal. However, for a first time use of this telescope, I'm happy that I was able to actually capture what I came out to do. All right guys, so this is the final setup. This is what I'm getting here. Pretty dope, huh? That little thing right there is being captured as such.